Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Death Breath, ready to spoil every film reviews and sometimes celebrity interviews. Happy Easter to one and all. Happy Easter! Anyway, before we begin, please turn on post notifications, please subscribe, and let's get into the good. So, the good. Elizabeth Olsen is Scarlet Witch. She's done a phenomenal job. She continues to do a phenomenal job. Paul Bettany as Vision, or as I like to refer to him, The Vision. He, once again, does an amazing job. Tiana Parrish, she plays uh, Captain Rambo. No, not Sylvester Stone Rambo, but Detective Rambo with S.W.O.R.D., another ABC organization that's meant to protect us. Simon Han, who plays the neighbor Agnes. All right, so... <laughs> the first three episodes weren't done for aesthetic purposes, which was fantastic. I will dive more into that later. It was actually done, and it actually makes sense and has a greater meaning overall, which is great, because that would have been a problem. Also, there's horror elements. They show, like, some type of Salem witch trial -y type things, and it shows that Marvel can actually do a horror film. Not quite, you know, as horror as they're trying to make you think, but it can definitely be something frightening, and it definitely shows that's possible. Um, second, the rude scene. Um, the second rude scene in the film, or in the miniseries with Wanda. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It's pretty awesome. Also, how it finishes up the storyline. It finishes up where everything makes sense at the end, but it also sets up more MCU goodness to come, which is fantastic. So that being said, let's get into the bad. Okay, so the bad. Uh, the bad really is the first three episodes. The first three episodes had this whole I Love Lucy, 1950s, Beaver Cleaver, Brady Bunch type thing. And when it comes to any kind of visual media, I don't like things that feel like a waste of time. For instance, there was an episode in The Sopranos later in the seasons, in the later season, where basically the whole thing was a dream. When I found out that was what I was watching, I skipped it. So I don't like things that feel like I'm wasting my time, so I did not enjoy the first three episodes. It wasn't until we hit the fourth episode that things actually started becoming evident that it was more than just some 1950s throwback gimmick. So that was my first issue. Um, and my second issue really is, you remember the Little Mermaid when Ariel was fighting Ursula and there's this whole bit where like she's losing her voice? Well, the final bit of WandaVision, Scarlet Witch is essentially fighting the big baddie and it's very much a similar scene where she's like, it kind of echoes it. I don't want to get into too detail, too much detail to ruin it, but it echoes it. And it felt very much like a Little Mermaid. And I was thinking, ha, huh, like, you know, the House of Mouse sort of fools you into thinking they're edgy, and but at the same time, there's always that hint of lightheartedness. And I guess that's really an issue I have with the entire Marvel Universe as a whole. To further drive my example home, in Civil War, you know, Iron Man and Captain America stop being friends, but they really don't, right? And the only times there was really any shocking moments, essentially, was when obviously Infinity War with the snap and then of course you have Iron Man dying but now you're hearing that Iron Man's coming back he's gonna come back in some other form or capacity it's like nothing feels permanent because of the world that Disney Marvel created where everything has to be wholesome which is kind of a shame I guess nothing really feels like it has any stakes you know it's like if you bring everyone back then who cares if anyone dies but anyway I digress that rant will be for another time and I'll get into more detail I'm sure later because I have that genuine problem with Marvel so let's give it a scale of one to ten what do we rate WandaVision? 10 out of 10. Absolutely well done. My critiques are minor and insignificant compared to the fantastic offering that Marvel Disney has given us on streaming services. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you soon.